Hey everyone, Mr. Coomber here, um, and right now I'm getting ready for our show, which today is going to be targeted towards teachers, and um, it's just going to be a quick overview of how to use um, VR, well, specifically how to use an Oculus Quest to teach in VR. Um, I actually recorded all of this narrated fully within my Oculus Quest, only to later realize that the Quest does not easily have a way to record my own voice. Which brings up, you know, kind of some important things. Here, wait, let me, let me talk about the video right now. So, in the video I'm talking about the, the menus in Rec Room. In Rec Room, to look at your menu, what you're gonna do is simply look at your wrist, either the left one or the right one, and all these options pop up. We're starting today with the Create button, so click on create to create your virtual classroom. I actually have a template that I will happily share if you guys need it later if I figure out how. It, it's not that hard, I think. I, but anyways, you don't need the template because I'm going to show you today how to make your own classroom, which being a teacher, I'm sure excited to do. Decorating my classroom setting up is my favorite part of the year. I set it up really nicely and then it all just becomes a jumbled mess within the first day. Anyways, as you can see, past me is showing you all the different default choices. I liked park when I first did it. Before I had my own VR classroom, I would use park. So right now I'm going to just, I clicked on park and it's like, you can create a private copy of it. I'm naming it, you know, park example VR Coomber because I'm probably never going to go to that room again. So I don't care what I name it. <laughs> um, once I transition in, let me talk more about... Uh, I guess, again, like, the limitations. So this whole video is being filmed on an Oculus Quest. You can name and publish this room by pressing this room on your watch. An Oculus Quest is the, the most budget-friendly form of VR, like, immersive real VR, you know, like, with, like, with, like grips and stuff that's out these days. I'm, I'm giving you a brief overview of the different options I like, but a key difference you'll notice, those of you who, who have a Oculus Rift or... You know, like a, a more formal headset, I'm thinking like, um, I think PlayStation VR or higher, like PlayStation VR, Oculus Rift S, or Steam, I want to say Vive. Uh, they all have options to have a third person camera, but unfortunately, the Quest does not. So, you'll notice this entire video, and your own lessons will have to be taught from the first person if all you have is an Oculus Quest. And that's, it's not bad. Like, it it does risk if you move your head too much. So, you, so I had to learn, I mean, when I do film in first person, which is rare, because again, I, I don't usually use my Quest. Um, I do think you could, for, I think you can do decent lessons in a Quest. So I'm not, I'm not against it. And I think, again, it's a great way to start if you haven't, if you, if you don't already own another higher tier VR. Um, but anyways, it's first person. So so the kids or the the audience are is tied to your headset. So keep that in mind. Um, there is no way around that currently in Rec Room. Uh, so I've pressed. There's a button on your controller. It's like the Y button, I believe, to remove the. And I'm showing you the Maker Pen to remove the the menu from my hand. Is what I was trying to say. So the Maker Pen is is like the bread and butter of teaching in rec room okay, and it has a lot of options it's really overwhelming so you'll see I, I held it up for a second there's like create edit blah 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 but you want to start with create okay that's the middle orange plus button that's already on and then click open palette and I if you're brand new to teaching in VR and you just want the very basics go straight to props and then creative so in creative you're gonna have the most important tools of all which is the art canvases. So the art canvases are what I use as, you know, portable virtual whiteboards on demand and you can film, you know, you can make many of them if you wanted. You are limited by this, this, and the top, very briefly, you can see at the very top a thing that says ink in like a green bar. And that's, that's your limit. They, they do limit like how many things you can summon because otherwise it, it starts to lag. Like there's only so many virtual customized items. But more than enough for our needs as teachers. You'll see I also spawn from that same screen um, markers as well as an eraser. And when I'm writing on the whiteboard, it's it's not bad. It feels good. Like I don't if you haven't had a chance to to write in VR yet, there is 
certain programs where riding maybe doesn't feel as natural. But Rec Room is like, it gets like a B plus for that category. What I'd say is it's it's very passable. It's above average. Um, I write about the same, honestly, as I do in real life, as in Rec Room. So some of you elementary school teachers who at least at my school, the stereotype is they write a lot nicer than us middle school teachers. Some of you guys, I think, could pull off decent handwriting. I've seen like, like really artist, artistic people pull off like impressive drawings just on that same, you know, whiteboard and markers that I, I am showing before you. Anyways, I'm talking here about the maker pen. This is the maker pen. Uh, if you missed where I got it, it's in your, you look at your wristwatch and you go to your backpack and then you can summon it. But after props, well, so under props is all these different cool objects you can spawn, you know, like that sort of thing. But really, uh, a lot of you are going to find yourselves initially just using shapes. Okay, and tubes and ribbons specifically, because tubes and ribbons are what you use to write in 3D. Okay, so um, as far as, you know, I mean, they're, they're pretty self-explanatory. A tube is just a three-dimensional line. A ribbon is a two-dimensional line. You'll have some options for them. So if you click the gear, Right now I'm writing with uh, what's called uniform shapes, and I'll turn you how to toggle that on and off. And it, it forces your it forces your drawings into like, you know, perfectly straight lines or perfect cubes. But if you go to that gear in the top right, there's a lot of options, but the main one that you need to see again is just uniform shapes. It's the the middle right hand one. There it is. And what that's gonna do is turn toggling that on and off lets you draw free form. So see how I can finally do like a full curvy S instead of uh, and like back and forth, that sort of thing, instead of just a pure straight line, like, you know, earlier in the video. <laughs> okay. Honestly, my pantomiming is, is fine. I think you could have extrapolated that. So here's like a cube with uniform shapes. See how it's a perfect, you know, like X by X cube, while when I turn it off, then I have more freedom to make, like, you know, weird shaped rectangles and squares and that sort of thing. Um, so, those, let's see here. Y you can customize these, right? Of course, you can change the color, okay? That's that's a slightly lighter orange, yellow, green. You can change the materials, although most of them, for our purposes, are the simil are pretty much the same. They're all, like, um, just opaque, except that specific one. If you look in the top, in the bottom left, I like that material if I need to write you know, something bright or lighter. That's what that's... But usually I just switch between those two. If I'm being honest, like, when I'm live teaching, I'm either using the neon one or or interchangeably one of the opaque color choices. Uh, what else is important? <clears throat> well, so again, looking at... Okay, delete. The delete button is on your maker pen, just looking at the lid of it, and then you just laser gun things away to delete individual things. Again, I'm just trying to cover, like, the bare bones basics for... A teacher, you know, that really niche audience of teachers that own an Oculus Quest and don't know how to how to do basic things in Rec Room. So the Maker Pen does let you do simple, um, simple undo and redo. So you know, like Control Z, Control Y in real life. Um, but it has some limits. So one, it can only undo things that you do with the Maker Pen. So see how I moved it with my hand there? I can't undo that. All I can do is undo the last maker pen action. So if I move it using the maker pen, the maker pen you can you you can move things more controlled using the maker pen. That is something I can I can redo and undo, you know, just using that. But you'll notice, hmm, all of my shapes and everything I've done are all glued together because I I built them all while holding the maker pen a single time. And that's that's good if it's deliberate, right? Like if you're trying to, you know, craft something with multiple parts and you deliberately want them together. But a lot of the times, um, I guess, you know, like the easy way around this is you make something and then drop the maker pen and then make something and then drop the maker pen. And as long as you keep doing that, it's like on and off. It feels like you're like reholstering, uh, I guess like a sidearm. I don't know. Well, it's like, like you know, like, uh, that's one way to make sure you have different shapes that aren't meshed together. The other way, it's... It's a little, it's not intuitive, if you ask me, but you have to click, you have to turn on edit mode, okay, and then select the object. No, 
well, okay. Give, give past me a second. He'll figure it out. So you go to edit mode, then you click select. Come on. He's got it. There we go. Click on the object, and you'll see three dots appear. See those three yellow dots? Then use your trigger again. Oh, he was so close. I, I vividly remember this moment of me uh, messing that up. But, oh no, they're still stuck together past Charles. So, select them. Go to edit mode. Good. Now click. Nope. He's going to go to edit mode, and then he's going to click select. Okay, I'll tell you. And then there will be three yellow dots that appear. There we go. See them? He clicked them really fast that time. But then you go to split shapes, and that will split that one shape from the group. So see, everything else is still stuck together, but that one shape is free. That one rectangle that I was doing that on is now independent. And that, if it seems weird that I'm spending so much of the video on this, this was like a really frustrating, not intuitive thing for me as someone who like was really eager to jump in and start teaching in Rec Room. So I'm passing on the knowledge to you guys. Um, he's going to do it again. Here we go. Edit mode. And then click select. Select one of the objects that's that's all tied together. So he's in edit mode. He's got to click select. Good. And three yellow dots. Wait for them. Click. There we go. He did it really fast, but let's watch. There. See those three yellow dots? And then you click them again with the trigger. And go to split shapes. There we go. And by doing that, that one shape is now also free. Free of the other shapes. Um... And again, like, this whole video, again, is just those basics. How to spawn a whiteboard, how to spawn markers, and how to do very simple things, okay? I am showing you right now how to freeze an object so you don't accidentally move it. That happens a lot to me before I remember to freeze important objects. And the Maker Brand has just infinity options. Honestly, it's like a beautiful, cool computer art fountain of wonder. Okay, and, you know, the easiest thing of all is to just spawn random props. But even within the Maker Pen, I, I'm only beginning to delve into the many different options um, within it. But just with those basics, I think you can already, you can already see a lot of like potential lessons you could teach within VR using your quest. Um, you know, and I think I started saying at the beginning of this video, and I didn't, I didn't finish, is that unfortunately you will have to have an external microphone, maybe your cell phone next to you, recording your dialogue as you as you teach within a quest because at the moment i don't think there's a way to easily record your voice um while streaming like this in the, the quest streaming like this is pretty easy there's just a button under options under sharing and that covers it all for now thanks for watching